Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a while. This video is a quick travel vlog and to share a quick guide for a must-see or must-do while in Toronto and Niagara Falls. So let's begin. If you're going to visit downtown Toronto, you must try to watch a Blue Jay game in Rogers Centre. I've watched the game once and the crowd is so electric. The locals are very passionate about their Blue Jays and it's quite an experience of rooting for their team while on their home court. Unfortunately, there was no game that day but highly recommend going. We passed by the famous old city hall and just beside it are the current city hall and the Nathan Phillips Square. Nathan Phillips Square is one of the most iconic landmarks in the city. It boasts the well-known colorful Toronto sign. It also has a disappearing colorful fountain in the middle. During winter, this becomes an ice skating rink for the locals to enjoy. Truly a must-see while you are in downtown. The next day, we went to the CN Tower. When we went there on a Sunday morning, there was a minimal wait time. These tickets are for the general admission and the Skypod admission. It costs us around $53 for each person. I don't want to spoil all the views up here so you all can enjoy it in person. But up here, it is very mesmerizing. As busy as Toronto is, the view here is somewhat serene. The Skypod is a higher level than the main observatory. It's about 33 stories higher. The glasses in Skypod gives you a clearer and higher point of view, especially when looking down. It's like $10 more for the general admission. So it's totally worth it. Next, we went to Toronto Islands. To get there, you gotta go to Jack Layton Ferry Terminal. We decided to ride the ferry going to Center Island. We bought the tickets for around $8 each. Once you're there, you'll be fascinated with the view of the city skyline. I think the panoramic view from here is a must-see. If you like a much-needed escape from the busy streets of Toronto, you can spend a day trip here. You can rent bikes, go paddleboarding, there are also amusement parks for kids, or you can have a picnic with your family. Definitely worth seeing. Next is to go to Niagara Falls. We used to go train and bus. I think it only costs us around 20 plus dollars each and tickets included the train and the bus ride already. So we came from Union Station, then stopped at Burlington Go, then took a bus ride from there to Niagara Falls bus stop. Afterwards, we just took an Uber to go to our hotel. We checked in at Embassy Suites. I don't have any decent video clips from the outside of our hotel, so what I have here is their promo video. And here's the room. Take a look inside. Here's a view from our bedroom. What do you guys think? I know, right? We were pretty excited to see it up front, so we decided to immediately go there. And right across our hotel is the inclined railway to the falls. Let's see the falls.
We decided to explore the Clifton Hill district first and start our Niagara adventure the next day instead. There's no way that we'll run out of things to do here. There are tons of places to eat here as well. It's literally like an enormous fair. There are tons of pubs, restaurants, and of course, awesome rides. We ate at Benihana as we haven't experienced hibachi cooking before. It was pretty entertaining and the food is delicious. After the meal, we decided to just walk around and explore the district. When our feet started to hurt, we finished exploring the town around 9 p.m. and decided to call it a day. We gotta prepare for tomorrow. We got a lot of things to do the next day. Oh, I totally forgot that the falls have a light show every night and fireworks too. The first attraction that I consider a must-see is the journey behind the falls. This one is just captivating. You are literally behind the falls. It costs us $24 each. You're gonna start entering a tunnel and by the end of the tunnel, this is what's waiting for you. There was one point that I just don't care about recording anymore. I just want to take it all in. It was overwhelming and an amazing experience. You're going to definitely get wet on this one so be prepared. Next, we tried the zip line. Now this one, I feel like I should show you the whole thing because the price is not cheap. For one minute and half ride, I think it's only fair to show you if it's all worth it. Now for me, I'm only gonna ride this once. And I think it's worth it. But you tell me. What did I tell you? I know, right? That view is just something else. Now this is my favorite part, the cruises. The attraction is only $32 per person. This ferry is going to take you right in front of both American and the Horseshoe Falls. Oh, and they're gonna provide you a poncho when you hop on the ferry, but it ain't gonna work. I think getting wet from the splashes of the falls is part of the fun. It was loud and exhilarating, and the view is just majestic. It was such a blast. I can only wish it lasted longer. This is definitely one of those things you really should do if you're visiting the falls. <laughs> We spent our last day back in Toronto. The plan is to just chill, shop around at the outlet store and buy some pasalubongs. If we could run it, if we could run it back into I didn't mention other places that we went to and the food that we ate because I really want to focus the video only for the must-sees. Oh, 
hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see ya